Thank you, Alyssa. Well, it's been a tough and strange year so far for Penn State football. The team is winless entering the fourth week of the season. Sports Director Peter Terpstra joins us live with more. Pete. Hey, hi, hello. Yeah, when teams get on losing streaks, you're going to hear a lot of the same things. You're going to hear stuff like, we need to execute, we need to do our jobs, we need to trust the process, all that stuff. Well, Penn State's just trying to figure out how to turn this thing around, but this is not like other years. As you heard, Penn State is winless heading into week four. That's strange. And they're going to play another winless team on Saturday, tripping all the way to Nebraska. Now, something else that's different this year, you've seen players opting out of the season if things are going wrong, you know, because of the pandemic and all. Pat Fryermuth is a guy who has NFL potential, the tight end. And he could opt out now since a championship is off the table for Penn State. But he says he hasn't even thought about that. I'm committed to Penn State till. Um, until I decide my time's up here. Um, like I said before, I love this university. I love this, this, this program. I love the coaches. I love the players in it. And, um, you know, I'm with them in the good times and the bad times. And I just can't, that's not my personality to just walk away um, when we're down and, and the program's down. You know, I'm, I'm going to get up and fight back and, and try and um, get, get us our first win this season and, and do anything I can to make this program um, go in the next step. Coming up next in sports, or I guess later in sports at 6, James Franklin gets personal. We're going to take a step away from football and see what's been bugging him. Reporting from University Park, Peter Terpstra for Nittany Nation.